So there's been a new stroke added. And if we, we looked at it briefly when we did the IMM stroke update video. So go check that video out for ZBrush 2024 if you haven't yet. But uh, for example, if we go in here to the stroke palette, there's a drag stamp uh, option here. So we haven't used it yet, uh, but we're going to use it on this creature. So one way we can show this off is I'm going to go hit uh, B on my keyboard to bring up my brush menu. C to narrow it down to my C brushes. And you're going to see there's some chisel creature brushes and chisel 3D brushes in here. Uh, these are vector displacement alphas. If you want to know more about this, you can go to my YouTube channel and just do a search for, um, I guess, VDM. And there'll be a bunch of videos on how vector displacement works, how to create your own, how to create your own brushes. Uh, but essentially, these are a collection of brushes that have alphas assigned to them. However, there's one important difference. So we're working on a creature. I'm going to select the uh, chisel creature brush. And if we grab the scale one, for example, when I, and we set the drag rect. So if I go through here and use this, instead of an alpha brush, which, uh, let me just show you. I'm going to hit BC. We're going to do a chisel rect. So these are uh, alphas, and you're going to see there is no 3D uh, component to them. They are literally just alphas being applied. So if I grab any of these and I drag them out, their alpha pushes straight back to the object. There's no undercuts. There's no like scale that goes out and then back around, right? However, a vector displacement alpha, so you'll see this has no 3D little signifier on it. If we go here to BC chisel creature, this has a little 3D text in the upper left-hand corner. This is saying this is a 3D object and it's based on a vector displacement alpha, a 32-bit alpha. So when I grab this scale and I drag this out, not only does it drag out from my object, it has undercuts. Uh, here's a better example of this ear. If I drag this ear out, this ear has, you know, a hole on the deep on the inside and it has, it wraps around and it, it swings around this way. So these are much more expressive, much more useful for uh, some creature applications as far as the ability to drag out from your mesh and have an undercut. So enough about VDMs. That's not what this video is about. So we'll go back here to B, C, B, C, I, chisel creature. Uh, again, we'll grab that scale and with drag rect which is the default as you drag this out and we'll drag the other way so it goes this way it's fine you can drag it if you drag a little bit it'll do a little scale if you drag a lot it'll do a big scale and that's basically how these work and you can go through here and you can layer it up so good functionality there's nothing wrong with it however uh, we'll undo those and we'll switch the stroke from drag rect over here to drag stamp so now when i use this brush you're going to see Number one, it has a uh, has a lazy mouse component, so you really have to drag far away. I'm going to take that down just a bit. I'm going to go in here to stroke. Lazy mouse, this lazy radius is set to 100. Let's take that down to like 10. Okay, that feels a little bit better. Or in fact, you can just tap L on your keyboard to turn that off. Uh, so now we have a scale. Now, as I click and drag, not only is the scale going to get bigger, but I can also rotate it around. And as I drag, it'll lift more off the surface. So you have a lot more control uh, as I go up and down and left to right, it'll drag out from the object and then rotate. So you can very quickly go through here and kind of position these scales and have them overlap and turn corners and get uh, more pronounced or less pronounced. So instead of, again, we'll do another diff here. So we have drag rect. Instead of the more I drag out, the bigger it gets, the more I drag out with the drag stamp stroke, um, the more pronounced it gets. Now, in, if I do want to get bigger or smaller, all I got to do is tap S on my keyboard and take my draw size down or hold down my space bar and change, turn the draw size down or go up here and turn my draw size down or I think using the bracket keys will also turn the draw size down. So there's four ways to do draw size here. So again, if you want to make it smaller, we'll take tap S and then we'll make this smaller. And then again, we're changing how pronounced it is in the rotation as opposed to the size. And then we'll make it bigger. And again, we'll just kind of push and or pull and drag and continue to kind of layer these up. So in some instances, it may be beneficial to use drag stamp or you may want to switch back to drag rect and go through here and just use drag rect functionality or go in here and use drag dot. You know, you can just go through here and position these just like this. Now, unlike IMM, this is actually displacing the current pre-existing geometry here. It's not adding extra geometry to it. It's just taking the geometry and pulling it through, in this case, a vector displacement alpha. So, you know, keep that in mind. But depending on what functionality you need, sometimes drag dot is great. 
Sometimes drag rect is great. Sometimes drag stamp is great. You know, you pick and choose uh, which one's going to make the most sense for the creature that you're trying to create. And right when I finished that video, I was like, I should show more examples. So I'm just going to work my way down the line here. Here's, uh, you know, a couple of teeth options. We'll take this blunt tooth right here. So again, if we have a drag rec stroke, this is what we're getting. It's kind of the same intensity. We're just dragging out different sizes as opposed to going through here with the drag stamp and we can go through and kind of pull out gradually or push back in. And again, I'm just raising this up and down and then you can twist this left and right. In this case, twisting it doesn't make too much of a difference, but you know, you can kind of see the difference dragging this out and determining uh, the intensity here. So you can drag this one out less, still the same size, just more or less uh, being pulled out from your object. And of course, you can hold down Alt and push into your object as well. So if this makes more sense for your VDM, you know, feel free to kind of use this to punch in or pull out uh, any any details. And again, as we're going through, you know, pull out more and then pull out more and just continue pulling out and then pull out a little less and then can gradually pull out less and less while maintaining the same size. So again, depending on the scales you're making, that might come in handy.